The new engine. On the North Western Railway, there are lots of different engines in lots of different shapes and sizes. Morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Stephanie. Henry, what are you doing with the Express? Haven't you heard, Ryan? Gordon's had a uh, Gordon had an accident with Jason, so he's been sent to the Steamworks. So Henry's taking the Express today. That's how I am. That's how I am, Toby. Said said Henry. Just then, the guard's whistle blew. Well, Express mustn't be late. And Henry puffed away. Later on, Henry arrived at Balahu, the last main, the last stop on the island of Sodor. After this, he'd go on to the mainland. Just then, Henry noticed the track next to him starting to rumble. And that will be Jason, said Henry. But it wasn't Jason. Along with the rumbles, there came a sound of puffing and chuffing and wishing and whooshing of a steam engine. Then came a loud, long and low whistle, and an engine, covered by a cloud of steam, raced past. <gasps> Bliss and boilers! exclaimed Henry. Who was that? But he didn't have time to think. <coughs> he puffed off to the mainland. Later, James the Red Engine had no work to do, so he puffed into Farquhar to admire the view. Wow, he said. What a beautiful day. Just then, there was another long, loud and low whistle that no one in Farquhar recognised, except for James. Could it, could it possibly be? James looked behind him, o James looked behind him over to the port, where a thick cloud of steam was rising. As the steam cleared, an unfamiliar engine came into view. Before James could find the right words, Stepney, smoke. Stepney spoke. Hello there, he said. Stepney, uh, Farquhar and Port Station Pilot, at your service. Ah! said the new engine. Merlin, experimental prototype N15 King Arthur class stealth engine at yours. Stealth engine? inquired Ryan. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, Merlin here believes he has the power to turn invisible, said James. Oh, why does everyone say it's only a belief? asked Merlin, even when they've seen me do it multiple times. I will show you Invisibility! On! The whole station went up in a cloud of smoke. Okay, it didn't go up, I just couldn't find the right words. <coughs> huh? Huh? Hmm. Um, wow. Whoa, wherever did he go? Asked, Mer asked Ryan and Stepney sarcastically. Ah, you see, said Merlin. Told you, James. It's not just a belief. It's been proven. Um, yeah, said James. So, anyway, what brings you to Sodor, Merlin? I mean, surely you didn't come all the way here just to bring those trucks. Speaking of... Interrupted Ryan. Are they mine by any chance? Well, judging by your nameplate, Ryan, I'd say they are, said Merlin. Alright, just let me go turn around. And Ryan backed down the branch line. I mean, anyway, surely you didn't come all the way here just to bring Ryan his trucks? Oh no, of course not, said Merlin. 
Unfortunately, the steelworks where I used to work at has shut down. Um, the British Railways has seen how strong Hurricane is, and have and have bought him and Frankie. Uh, Theo's at a heritage railway, giving rights to children, I believe. And Lexi is at a railway museum, probably getting polished and repainted. <laughs> she really needs a repaint. Uh, yeah. Just then, Ryan returned. Stepney, called to Top and Cap. Can you go shunt Ryan? Can you go shunt Mullen's trucks onto Ryan? Sure thing, sir. James, could you back up back to the port a bit? Sure thing. Stepney and James Buffett. Stepney and James soon returned. Stepney on another line. Hey, sir, said Sir James. I was thinking, what work is Merlin going to be doing here? Merlin will help out with heavy goods trains, replies the top and cap. Okay, said James. But then, what about Neville and Henry? What, what about me and Henry? asked Neville, pulling in behind James. Oh, hello there, he said, seeing Merlin. Oh, hello, said Merlin. What's your name? I'm Neville, replied Neville. What's yours? I'm Merlin, the experimental prototype N15 King Arthur class. Ah, yes, the experimental stealth engine, replied Merlin. I've heard about you. Three funnels to uh, make the steam disperse so you'd be held at a spot. Yes, said Merlin. Not much point in that, really, considering I can turn invisible. Huh? Neville was confused. Um, Neville, between you and me, he just thinks he can. He can't actually turn invisible. Oh, I see. Neville whispered. <coughs> well, that's my whistle. Nice meeting you, Merlin. And thanks for the cars. See ya. Oh, uh, goodbye, Ryan. Anyway, James, to answer your original question, Henry and Neville will still be in the heavy goods department. However, with our railway growing in clients so rapidly, I feel like Merlin here is going to be just the engine we need. The big controller then asked James to show Merlin around the island. Which he was glad to do. Come on, Merlin. Oh, did he? Said Merlin. An adventure, and I haven't even been here a whole day. Meanwhile, said Sir Top and Cap, Neville, those trucks over there need taking to the steamworks. There, it's a short train, but it's very heavy, and it contains the last of the parts needed to repair Gordon. Yes, sir. Right away, sir said Neville. Not so fast, interrupted the big controller. Um, Stepney, you still need to shunt a brake van onto it. Oh, yes, sir. I'll get one on it, sir. And I'm sure you've seen uh, Balahu when you first came to the island, said James, finishing his tour. Ah, yes, the main connection to the mainland where I used to live. Yep. Sorry to hear about the steelworks. Oh, it's fine, said Merlin. After all, you win some and you lose some, and you can't exactly win when it comes to British Railways. Okay. I'll keep that in mind, said James. Ah, uh, anyway, said Merlin. I think I might go back up to Farquhar now. Alright, said James. See you around. Yes, see you, said Merlin. On his way back to the station, Merlin saw Neville. 
Neville was in his siding, with steam hissing, steam hissing from his boiler. Hello, Neville, he asked. What are you doing here? Uh, I've burst the safety valve, said, Ra said Neville. Oh dear, that's no good, said Merlin. You think you can make it to the other side of the point? Just enough to clear them? Yeah, I think so. Great, said Merlin. I have an idea. Slowly but surely, Neville pulled forward. By the time Merlin had turned around, Neville had managed to clear the points. Okay, Neville, he called. I'll push from behind, but you might need to be your part at the front. I'll try, said, ne said Neville with determination. Soon Neville and Merlin had pushed and pulled the whole train into the steamworks. Neville! said Victor. Welcome. A burst safety valve, I see. Yeah, said Neville. But I've also brought the last of Gordon's parts. How did you get here? asked Victor. It's dangerous for an engine to go on the main line with a burst safety valve. I know, said Neville. My new friend Merlin helped. Merlin had heard some scary noises from inside the building when he first arrived. He did not want to stick around any longer than he had to. Merlin was later introduced to Henry. He turned out to be a rather friendly engine. And before long, the three heavy goods engines, James, Ryan and Toby, all came to be good friends with Merlin and hope to remain so forever and ever and ever.